I usually like uh, for people to first try our Devil John Moonshine, and uh, the reason for that is, is uh, as a moonshine, if you if anyone's had a moonshine before, it is a little more of a guttural uh, product. Um, it, uh, as far as moonshines go, we feel we have a very smooth uh, product, uh, but it is a single distillation uh, corn and sugar cane um, recipe uh, that. Uh, sure, we founded it in uh, 2008 after a uh, gas weekend. Uh, decided we wanted to bring back the distilling tradition to Lexington that was here before Prohibition. And a lot of the distilleries in, in Kentucky before Prohibition were this size. They weren't all huge ones. So we wanted to bring back a little bit of that. And uh, we're fortunate enough to find a spot in the James Pepper Distillery. Uh, we're in the barreling house. Where we were sitting is where they actually had a pipe that flowed in here, and there was two two cypress tanks in here, and they would gravity feed the barrels in this room. So that's the barrel house and still right. uh, Six guys uh, initially were at least uh, playing around with the idea after a, essentially a poker group um, that um, that then I like to say eventually distilled down to just the two of us. <laughs> so, uh, we usually uh, will substitute tequila or substituted for a tequila drink. We have a drink called uh, the Kentucky Moonbow, uh, which uh, Kentucky has a uh, falls, Cumberland Falls uh, here uh, in southeastern Kentucky that uh, is one of the few places in the world where if there's a full moon, you'll have a moonbow from the, from the falls. And uh, so the Kentucky Moonbow is a little bit of a twist on a tequila sunrise. And uh, so we substitute Devil John Moonshine for uh, tequila, and uh, oh, is a wonderful uh, drink. Uh, we both we both uh, still uh, have uh, regular uh, jobs as well as as uh, coming down here in the evenings and, and a couple of times a week and on the weekends. Uh, I call it another full time. Job. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's really amounted to two full time jobs at this point. But uh, Jeff uh, then also does uh, he has his own construction company. Is remodeling of homes primarily, but uh, we'll do a little bit of a little bit of anything along those lines, and uh, that keeps him pretty busy. And then my background is is um, for the last 20 years I've been in medicine physician, and uh, so I still do that. Uh, but uh, my uh, free time that I have is now pretty much uh, spent down here. Um, so Pure Blue is. Um, our 100% corn vodka, we distill it four times and then cut it to 80 proof with, um, with the same spring water from Rockcastle okay. County. Um, there is a subtle sweetness to it from the, utilizing the corn, uh, which we get here uh, from a mill here in uh, central Kentucky. And uh, it is what we call a Kentucky Proud product in that it's uh, produced and manufactured with uh, Kentucky products. Um, I moved on to history in, uh, in elementary school, and uh, so we lived four houses down from each other uh, all through high school. We kind of went different directions after that for a while with me uh, moving out of the state, et cetera, but we always kept up. And then when I moved back to Kentucky uh, uh, 14 years ago, uh, we definitely started doing Doing more. We had a group of good buddies that all started doing stuff together and, and have continued to do that, but uh, uh, Jeff and I were pretty much the, the craziest of the group to, to pursue this. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Um, I believe it may have been um, Pink Floyd, but it was either that or uh, Led Zeppelin would have been the, one of the last uh, uh, songs I listened to in the car. Well, the last thing I listened to was probably either Mumford and Sons or Old Pro Medicine Show. Old School comes to mind because it hits a little bit home to where we are in our lives, uh, which is comedy with Will Ferrell. Like all the Adam Sandler movies. Well, given the fact that today's Kentucky's birthday, 220th birthday, I guess probably Abraham Lincoln. I think. Uh, 
my grandfather, or what we called him Papa, uh, didn't really know him that well as a kid, and, uh, but he had a very interesting uh, life as a coal miner in eastern Kentucky, and uh, was a pretty tough, proud man that, uh, that I thought would like to get to know a little better. Mine probably is walking in here in the morning and snowing yeah. the mash. Yeah. And that's probably one of the big advantages to this job is yeah. to be able yeah. to walk in, smell the mash, and just smell so good. Uh, mash in the morning, and then my second would be uh, the uh, kind of the vanilla smell you get uh, what, when you're distilling. Um, I'd say music. I think probably we've got a, a cabin up kind of in the woods and the mountains, in the southern, Ap in the southern Appalachia, foothills, slash mountains. Uh, I'd probably get up in the morning and walking out in the woods and hearing maybe what you might think would be silence, but a lot of sounds that are going on. Uh, Beach Boys. <laughs> <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> when I first am smelling the mash and then and then I walk in the door. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. <laughs> ruins it, right? Yeah, there. it kind of ruins it. Yeah. Well, no, just teasing. Just teasing. Uh, best advice we ever got was not to get in the store. Yeah. <laughs> From a financial Which we didn't standpoint. Need. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, I, probably for me, it's. Uh, it would be uh, just, just taking each day one at a time enjoying it. A pivotal point for me that I received counseling from my parents on what to do was when I decided after high school to go into the military. And uh, I pretty much instigated it, but they helped me uh, with, with the decision. So, um, and that was a good one for me because I'm not sure where I'd be if I hadn't done that. I think kind of along the lines of, uh, you know, I stop and smell the roses, uh, live life to its fullest. I, I believe strongly in living life to its fullest. And, uh, and roll with the punches. It's got to do that. It's a, it's a gift through life. That's, that's pretty good advice. Yeah. It's advice you Yeah. <laughs> that's it right here. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> that's my number one now.